All right. Can y'all hear me? Is this mic even on? Okay, this is on. So can y'all hear y'all? All of you can hear me well, right? Yes. So first of all, thank you so much for coming. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm trying to make a pun between I you know trying to use the phrase like, a walk in the park to find this place. So because some of you are literally lost in the park. So. <laughs> So I'm like so thankful that all of you found this place. I'm so happy to have all of you today at the Tech Ladies Info session. So quickly bring you through what we're going to do today. Um, it's a pretty packed itinerary. So we're going to have a panel discussion. Um, and also before we jump down to what the Tech Ladies Bootcamp 3 is all about, what are some of the projects that we're helping and how you can apply. OK. So first of all, um, thank you very much to our sponsor, venue sponsor that they uh, have host, uh, host us in this beautiful place. Um, so let's give a round of applause to DAX. <laughs> I also like to invite Annie to give us a brief introduction on uh, what DAX is about. So Annie! <laughs> <laughs> Good evening everyone, ladies and gentlemen, a few <laughs> here. So, um, wow, it's really exciting. It feels like a full house girls party tonight. <laughs> Woo! Yay! <laughs> so, um, I come from a real estate and retail background, so traditionally it's dominated by men. And then, you know, I move on to finance and also tech. Again, it's a traditional industry that's dominated by men. So, it's really exciting and refreshing for me to see everyone here, all the gorgeous ladies here tonight. Because you know, I can really see the girls' power are expanding in these arenas. So you will have my full support. <laughs> Thank you for calling us. You're welcome. So I, I guess maybe for most of you, this is the first time you are at Dax. Yes. Okay. So maybe after this event, I will have Shopa to give you a tour, so that yeah. you know you can understand the history and the stories. You know, and what we do here. But you know, for for Dax, we do three key things here. First, this is the place for us to educate the bank and also the wider community about innovation. So, you know, what is innovation? How do we practice innovation? And how do we apply that to business? So we do have, um, you know, the mentor in residence to coach um, the, the, the BUs, you know, the staffs here. And then second is about we connect, you know. So I have my partner in crime, Biju, who is... <laughs> Head of the ecosystem, so he helps to connect the business and also, you know, the corporates to the fintech community startups. You know, um, got girls like you guys, and also, you know, um, and other uh, like government bodies and students. So we believe sometimes the solution may not necessarily stay within the bank. You know, it might come from outside of the bank. Last but not the least, no matter it's for the banks or you know for the consumers or you know for the technology company, it's all people business. So for us, you know, this is not a lab, you know, where we just turn up the, the products. You know, we believe this is an innovation community, so it's people business. We want Dax to be the home for passion and innovation. So hopefully, you know, today when you walk away from Dax, you have your Dax moments and Dax stories to tell your friends. So, without further ado, I will give the stage back to Alicia. All right. Thank you. That sounds amazing. Nobody caught the pun? Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so, I'm gonna, so, how many of you, this is the first Tech Ladies event that you have ever attended? Wow. I'm so happy to have all of you here. And how many of you, uh, this, this is not your first Tech Ladies event? Awesome, thank you for coming back. And I'm so happy that to see all these new faces. So I'm going to share with you more about what Tech Ladies is about, uh, what do we do and who we are. So in Tech Ladies, we are a uh, community-led initiative. So that means that we're actually not a school, we're not a company, we're really ghetto. Uh, we're just a bunch of people who are in the tech community and want to give back. Um, so we just, we just set this up and, and hope all of you to, sh to share our love for tech with all of you. So. So what, do we, what, is what does Tech Ladies stand for? So one of the key things that we stand for is that we believe that technology can be done for good. 
So with technology skills, you can not only create applications that help yourself, but you can also create applications that help some other people. Um, it could be just people, your friends, your family, or it could be a cause that you care about. So I do believe that, it's, that technology, the ability to code is a superpower that we all should have. Having said that, this industry is still pretty male-dominated in one. For various reasons, there are a lot of researchers on why this happened. Is it a marketing problem? Is it a... Um, there are some theories on... on um, if you watch... Have you all watched Hidden Figures? Yes, kind of. So you can see that computers tend to be... It was, it was like, a, like a very desk-bound woman kind of job. And uh, one of the theories was that after the war, the men came back and took all of the, all of the jobs. So that uh, so so then it become a very male kind of a macho kind of a job, but but I do think that technology does not discriminate. It's, it's, it doesn't care who you are. Um, so so technology is ready for women. We and we want to be the bridge to for women to come and experience technology. Having said all of that, we don't hate men. So ju just in case <laughs> you <laughs> like disclaimer, just in case you see you know men here and be like, why are you here, you pervert kind of thing. I no no no. <laughs> so we, I, I'm a strong believer of male allies, and I think that gender diversity is not a woman's problem, and uh, we are not the one. Um, we are not the only one who is res responsible to fix it. I think this is a community effort. Everyone should play a part. Um, and, and, you know, uh, so, so just, you know, be, be nice to the men around. I just want to let you all know that. Okay. So uh, we do three things. Um, the, we have a bunch of programs, but it can, be, it can be sort of categorized into three different buckets. The first one is these communities, events like this where you can come and learn what the tech industry is about, come and meet one another, come and study together, um, form connections, so form meaningful connections. Uh, that's, wh that's what tech ladies do. And the second thing, oh, I really like cats, that's why you see a lot of cats <laughs> on my slides. So the second thing we do is, uh, of course, education. It's not just through, um, we want to teach you basic programming skills or enough skills for you to learn on your own. Um, so we do have a Facebook group and also a Facebook page where we share a lot of resources for you to learn how to code. And the last thing we do, we want to, we want to really push women into the in industry. Oh, it sounds very violent, but we want to support women <laughs> to enter the industry. <laughs> so, so one of the things we do um, is, uh, is, the, is the, our, probably our most intensive program, the Tech Ladies Bootcamp, where we try to get tech women with near zero programming background into software engineers. So far, we have helped seven women to get tech in internships or junior developer roles. So that's like, amazing, amazing results. So, oh, and of course, more cats. <laughs> So, so again, this is the three buckets of things that we do. If you don't remember, just remember CEO. It just happened to have be that way. And the programs that we do under that is... Um, okay, the icons doesn't tell you a story, so let me tell you the story. So, so these two buckets are for the community part of things. So the first one is called, we call the Tech Ladies Go. So if there's any tech event that you want to go, but you, don't, you feel like you know, a bit shy to go alone, like you don't know people there, so Tech Ladies Go is basically we'll just group up and go to a tech event together. Pretty basic. And then we also have our sort of a networking-ish event where we just, it's called a Tech Ladies Eat. It's just an excuse to get out and eat. So <laughs> I'm sh I'm, I promise you our programs get more inspiring <laughs> as we go down the funnel. So, for the education piece, we run our weekly study group. Now, right now, we are learning the CS50. It's a Harvard course. It's free av available free online on edX. So you're welcome to meet us uh, every Wednesday. What we do is uh, we, we will just open our laptops and do the exercises or watch the, watch the lecture. And we have uh, one or two mentors who will be there to guide you for any questions you have. Then we also have the coding weekend. Basically, it's a weekend long workshop. Usually what we try to do is we try to do this more overseas because what we realize is that uh, women in Singapore are very well taken care of. But the situation changes when you're in Indonesia, when you're in Pakistan, when you're in Vietnam. So we try to also inspire women to learn how to code by doing a weekend hackathon, no, no, a weekend coding um, workshop for them to get kick-started in, in programming. So the last two things is really more about highlighting women and getting women into the industry. So we have, uh, I'll say quarterly tech talks where, where women will give technical talks. Or you can come and learn more about their, their experiences, 
Um, what I want to, what we want to achieve here is to give women a, a platform to practice public speaking and get more confidence that way. And the last one is the, is of course the Tech Ladies Bootcamp. Where this is uh, this time round. If, if you have been following us, you realize that the bootcamp duration has been getting longer and longer each time. So it used to be 8, and then it was 10, and now it's 12. So for Tech Ladies Bootcamp 3, it will be a 12-week part-time bootcamp. I'll also talk more about it later on. So, so now when you see like the, a lot of programs that we have here, I hope you are curious about you know, why is, wh why, what is this tech industry about? Like why do we need so many programs? Um, I hope you are interested to learn more, but if you are not, then uh, I'll probably fail at my job, so, so like, just don't make any sound then. So, but I'm sure all of you are excited to hear more, right? Right, right? Okay, <laughs> so lucky for you, we have a panel discussion today. Um, so, so let's put our hands together and welcome our panel speakers on stage. Okay, <coughs> you, you don't have...